Previously on the Horizon Project, we crossed the Gulf Stream heading towards Bermuda, landed a beautiful mahi, made landfall in St. George's, Bermuda, then headed northeast towards the Azores where we dropped the hook in Iadas Flores. After 14 days at sea, we were anxious to get off the boat and explore the Flower Island. Although several things broke on the boat, we were safe and proud of Grace for making it this far. First Cachoeira waterfall in the Azores. Yeah. After a few days of soaking up the beauty of Flores, we knew we had dire repairs that needed attention, so we decided to weigh anchor and head to Horta Fial. However, our plan was temporarily put on hold when our transmission failed to drop into drive and our anchor chain was fouled, so we made a quick decision to tie up to the cargo dock. Long story short, we had to use a crane to pull up our anchor and Felipe, the harbor master, towed us out of the inlet. We were fortunate to be able to use this cargo dock and have the gracious help of Chiago, the marina manager, and Felipe, the harbor master, because a couple months later, Hurricane Lorenzo wiped this breakwater wall out. We read that a 75-foot wave was recorded crashing over the breakwater. Flores depends greatly on the Lages port for commerce, so it broke our hearts to read about all of the reported damage. We left Lajas without the noisy hum of a diesel and were gifted with a beautiful sunset as we sailed on to Horta. Gosh, I wish you, that makes me want to watch Harry Potter for some reason. I thought that was from Lord of the Rings. It is, but it makes me <laughs> want to watch Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings. Uh, <laughs> it makes me want to watch Harry Potter. Why? It's not even from that movie. That makes me want to watch um, something yeah, about me. After a fairly uneventful overnight sail, Horta Faya was in sight. Jim, not well sheeted. What the? Woo! Your turn, Shrouts. I just try it off. Woo! You bugger! Come on, bugger! Double backflip. How's the water feel? A little chilly. Feels great though. Again. Great place to scrub your pits in the butt. Oh, surfer shower. What's that dorsal fin coming up? <laughs> I think that's me. Curtis White Shot Breeding Ground Bra. Tiger Shock. Tiger Shock Breeding Ground Bra. Some locals say the best part about Horta is the view of Pico, so of course we had to hike to the top. The repairs would have to be put on hold. This is the top of Pico. Almost there. Top of Portugal. You. Another 100 meters, and the rest of the Atlantic Ocean. So what are you looking at there, Anna? Uh, 
Um, we are on top of a active volcano, Mount Pico, and it's currently oh, steaming. You can see the steam? Oh, you can see the steam right there. So we're gonna take advantage and get facials and exfoliate and a spa treatment at the top of the volcano. On top of a 3,500 3, calorie burn. This is the highest point in Portugal, the island of Pico. And uh, we have summited and we are headed back down to Bial in Portugal. I'm not getting after it. I'm just gonna go for him already here. The time for Eric aboard Grace was drawing to an end. We said our goodbyes and he hopped on a plane back to the U.S. of A. We will surely miss him and all that he has contributed aboard Grace. What you got going on back here? Shit. <laughs> what are you working on? Um, glossing in the Samson post and it's the worst thing you probably could ever do. It's like working with um, glue and cotton candy and it goes everywhere and it's stringy and it's not doing what I want it to do. You want to take a look? I'm sure it looks amazing. It actually doesn't yet. Can you barely see it? No, see it. Tabbing in between the Samson Post braces. And that's what I'm dealing with. The bottom of the deck. So there's the Samson post that comes through the deck. And then these are, I don't know what the technical terms uh, for the wooden bracing. Like, look at that. Yep. It just comes off in my hand. Yeah. Like, it, like it shouldn't do. So after a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, just kidding, just a lot of epoxy to the face and arms and all over. Here is the final result of the tabbed uh, Samson post. Ta-da! So, I'm at the masthead right now, and uh, we are process of putting our stay back in place. Our four stay started to part. Um, here, uh, you can see it because my wrap stop is covering it. Um, but we were able to use the same wire. It was in good condition other than where it started to uh, unlay and part. And then in place, we've got this beautiful uh, stay lock fitting, uh, the long eye and it's connected to a toggle here. So when I got here, I noticed that the cotter pin, I don't know if you can see it right in there or not, um, to the clevis pin holding the toggle in place. There's the toggle holding our nice, beautiful, new Daylock long eye. Uh, the, the cotter pin, it's here. 
<laughs> just in the club is just hanging out in there. Uh, so that is scary as well, you know. Uh, we're gonna fix it. Why hello Yanmar. What what's going on in there, Rob? <laughs> What is going on in here? Well, what's not going on in here? Had to modify this engine mount in order to get our new transmission that we serendipitously found today. Um, actually yesterday, a fella that just happened to have the exact transmission that we needed on the other side of the dock, crazy town. I don't know how that happened, but it did. And um, so in order to get the transmission in, uh, had to modify this uh, for this engine mount, and then um, we need some proper length bolts. So finding those has been a challenge today, also. What else did you find uh, had sheared off in there? Oh, uh, oh yeah, it was a bolt that connects our pedestal to the deck, and the same bolt that holds the steering cable shear and. When loads are exerted on to bolts that have crevice corrosion or anything that has crevice corrosion, it's going to pop. And they do, and it did. And it's a good thing that we found it before we went offshore again, because uh, we there could have been a chance we could have lost steering, and uh, that's never good. No siree. So here's the bolt that sheared off um, our steering cable steering mount and here is where it went right there and Rob's gonna show you down below here's our steering quadrant that controls the rudder via the wheel through these cables this cable and this cable via these shivs but and the bracket, uh, let's see, where is it? The bracket that, that holds these shivs um, had a bolt that sheared, and that's the one that Anna was talking about. And this is our new Kenzaki KM2P gearbox that fits our Yanmar 3GM 30F diesel engine. Next time on the Horizon Project, we paint our boat sign, see Les Serval boats start their race back to France, and explore the island of Saint-Georges. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe what she said